Hey guys, welcome to Imagine Nerds. My name's Josh, and today we're going to do another how to draw video. Uh, this time, in honor of the Halloween season, we're going to do a Disney villain how to draw video. Uh, and not just any Disney villain, we're going to do my favorite Disney villain. Uh, actually, just probably my favorite villain, not even in the Disney verse, but probably just favorite villain of all time. <laughs> so, we're going to do the Beautiful and elegant, yet very evil, mistress of all evil, Maleficent. Okay, so to start drawing Maleficent, we're going to put in some basic shapes that we can then build everything off of. So, first off, draw a circle in the middle of your page about this size, and leave enough room at the top and bottom. The top we're going to draw in her horns, and the bottom is going to be her neck and collar area. And so, uh, draw a center line right here. It's going to be a three-quarter view, like that. And then eye line right about here. All right, now we're gonna draw in her cheekbone and chin area. So go to where the eye line meets the edge of the skull and pull off of that for the cheekbone. And then draw a line down here. Square off her chin a little bit. Here's her jaw line. And then back up to the base of the skull. All right, and then we're gonna pull this center line actually down through to the bottom of her chin. So we have more guidelines to work off of to build, build the elements of her face onto. All right, now we're gonna draw in her nose. So go to where these two lines meet, where they cross, and we're gonna draw this bridge of the nose, which is like this shallow U shape. Then we're gonna change direction and go down and then connect back to the center of the face. And then we're gonna draw a little nostril right there. All right, now let's draw in her eyes. So uh, she has these upside down V shapes, like this. All right, and then it's gonna swoop down and tuck behind the eye kind of like that. And same over here. I'm gonna draw this one just a tiny bit bigger. Put an upside down V shape, and then it's gonna swoop like that. All right. And then Maleficent keeps her eyelids fairly low, kind of like she's sleepy. So we're gonna draw in her eyelids, kind of something like that. And then she has these really tiny pupils, and she's, she's going to be looking over to one side because she doesn't even give you the time of day to turn her head. She's just going to shift her eyes to look at you. All right, now we're going to draw in her eyebrows. So we're going to go from this bridge of the nose, and we're going to continue that line over the top of this eye and to the edge of the head right there. And then this eyebrow is going to be a little bit raised. Uh, it's going to reflect the top of this eye a little bit, so it's going to be another upside down V shape. It's going to go something like that. All right. Now we're going to draw in her mouth, uh, and so stay closer to the bottom of the nose than the chin, and go from the center guideline and go out like this. Okay. And we're gonna do two curves like that and connect them to the edge of the mouth like that. And then our bottom lip goes out and also connects back to the edge of the mouth right there. All right, now let's block in her neck. So go from the bottom of the jawline and it's not gonna go straight down, angle it a little bit, something like that. Another line over here. There's her long neck. Now let's draw in her headdress. Uh, so it's also going to kind of follow the shape of her eyes and eyebrows a little bit. Uh, so draw a line from the edge of the head 
to that center line right here. And then another upside down V shape, again, going around that eyebrow. It's gonna go down to meet this eye line right here. And then it's gonna curve like this way to accentuate her, her cheekbones. And it's gonna change direction again and go to the bottom of her chin. So it creates like this mask around her head like that. Next we're gonna block in her horns, which are a key design element uh, in on Maleficent. So we're gonna pull off the top of the head here, and she has these S-shape horns. And be sure to draw really lightly and loosely so that you can kind of feel out those, uh, those horn shapes so you're not locked into anything too quickly. All right, and then draw another one over here, but a little bit smaller. The horns kind of reverse in on themselves. So again, just really lightly and loosely. We'll darken the lines we like later. All right, so there are her horns. She also has these kind of spiky wings that come off of her headdress. So we're actually going to pull a line from kind of the edge of the horn here. We're gonna go down, kind of a curved line like this, and we're gonna pull it all the way out and create another S shape, kind of a shallow S shape like that. Then we're gonna pull down and connect it to the head like that. Then there's another smaller one behind it, so go out, back in, and connect. And then they're on the other side of her head too, so we're just going to imply that by doing one of them right there. Alright, cool. Now we're going to draw in her collar area. So we're going to draw a line that goes like this curve line goes over the neck a little bit like that and down and then her collar will go behind her head so really lightly just draw a curved line that goes through the drawing like that to make sure that the curve lines up on both sides and then we're going to draw another curve, something like that, and it's going to meet with the line down here, and same on this side. This is going to go behind her chin, and meet with the other lines, like that. Alright, now we're going to draw in her shoulders. Um, so if you imagine her shoulders being somewhere in this area right here, uh, we're going to go actually from the bottom of the collar, we're going to pull down a little bit, and we're going to meet where that shoulder is, we're going to draw a curve for her shoulder like that, alright? And then another shoulder, a little bit lower, and we're going to reverse the curve a little bit. And change direction, go down, like that. All right. And Maleficent also has kind of like these lines that go around her costume to kind of show form. So here uh, we're gonna go from um, where the top of the shoulder is, where it meets the collar, and it's gonna go down and meet these other lines. And then she has like a seam on her on her uh, dress here for the shoulder. Then she has these curved lines that go around her neck to show that her neck is a cylinder, kind of like that. And then we already have one of the lines on her headdress, the center line right here, so you can just darken that a little bit. And then the lines on her horns. Uh, actually show kind of how her horns are these kind of cylindrical tubes uh, that go in and out of space. And so we're going to draw one of the lines, like a curved line like that. But then the next one is going to reverse 
So this one shows that the horn is turning towards us, and this line shows that the, the horn is reversing and turning a little bit away from us. And then the other lines are going to reflect that one. Like so. And it gives that horn a little bit more form. And then we're gonna do the same with this one, but this horn is all just going away from us, and so all the lines will be going in this direction, like so. All right, and then uh, we're gonna go back to her eyes for a second. She has like this eyeliner on her with these little wings. She's a very feminine character. She's evil, but she's feminine and elegant, which is what makes her so appealing. So we're just gonna thicken up the top of her eye right there, and then come off, come off the edge there with some little wings. Alright, I'd say that's starting to look something like Maleficent. So now I'm going to go in and shade the areas um, that I want to be dark, uh, and then darken up the lines that I really like so we can push all those other light, sketchy lines to the background. And there you go, guys. There is your sketch of Maleficent, the mistress of all evil. Alright guys, so here is our very own sketch of Maleficent, the big baddie herself. Uh, and don't get too discouraged if she didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. She's a very difficult character to draw uh, because she has a lot of very elegant beauty elements and very, like, sophisticated design, um, so don't get too discouraged. I had to draw her several times to really figure out, um, how, how to draw her correctly, um, and so just keep at it, keep practicing, practice makes perfect, and you too can draw Maleficent. So that's it guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, click the like down below, give it a thumbs up, and comment below which character you would like me to show you how to draw next. Do you want me to do another Disney villain? Do you want me to do a hero? Do you want me to do an animal? Uh, just throw it down in the comments uh, and let me know. I love doing um, these drawing videos for you guys. And please subscribe to our channel, Imaginerd, so you don't miss any of the magic that we bring to you every single Friday. Thank you, happy Halloween season, and we'll see you real soon.